When you're dealing with a relatively shallow depth of field camcorder like the UX180, any help that you can get in focusing is, you know, always welcome. The UX180 has the ability to pre-program three focus points and then let you swap automatically between them. It's called focus transition. And in this video, we're going to show you how to set it up. First thing you have to do, make sure that the UX180 is set to manual focus. Function won't work if it's set in autofocus. So set it to manual on the auto manual switch and also make sure that the switch on the side of the camera is set to manual. Next, go into the record setup menu under focus transition and choose set. This will bring up the screen where we actually set what our focus points are supposed to be. You'll see three buttons on the left side. We have to choose one of those. Even though the first one is already highlighted in orange, it, you still have to choose it. So press the number one and then it brings up the screen where we can actually go in and focus. Now, here's the cardinal rule. Don't touch the zoom. Once you set a focus point, you cannot zoom the camera. If you zoom the camera, it erases the focus points. So when you're using this focus transition feature, it's gonna be at a certain set fixed zoom. So set the camera to that zoom and then go in and let's set the focus transition points. Press the number one, it brings up the screen. Now you can use the expanded focus assist to bring up and, and show you a magnified portion of the screen so you can set focus precisely. So set it exactly where you want it to be and press enter. Now you can point the camera somewhere else in the scene so that you know we're centering up on what we want our second focus point to be. Press the number two button and hit enter and it will bring up the screen. We then bring up the magnified focus assist using the focus assist button. Set precise focus exactly where you want it to be. Hit enter. And you can do the same thing for button number three. Once you've programmed your focus points, now we also have to enable the function on a user button. So go into the user SW menu and assign focus trans to one of your user buttons. In this example, we're just going to use user one. So now we're ready to do some focus transition here. We've got our scene set up and we're ready to start shooting. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure one of my points is in focus. So we press the focus trans user button. Remember in our case, it's user button number one, press that and it brings up the three buttons that we can transition to. Press number one and it brings the scene into focus. In order to toggle to the next object, we can press number two and it transitions over there. And you can see there's a little bar graph that plays along that shows how long it's going to take to transition. And we press number three and it goes to number three. Or if you'd rather, you don't have to press the buttons on the screen. You can actually press user buttons one, two, and three. Those will correspond to your focus position one, two, and three. But do be aware then that that means that for the duration of while the focus transition function is active, then whatever functions you have programmed on user one, two, and three, those are not going to be available to you. If you need other functions, you'll have to put them on one of the other user buttons. So that's all really kind of cool because, you know, as long as let's, let's say if you're doing a, a drama scene and your actors hit their marks, then it's like having a, a assistant cameraman there riding the focus for you and making sure it's exactly where you want it to be. Like I said, the caveat is you cannot zoom the camera. As soon as you zoom the camera, the focus points are erased. And focus points being not set or erased is probably the number one reason why when you press the focus transition button, sometimes it'll say invalid. Well, usually what that invalid means is that there's no focus transition points programmed, so there's nothing for the focus transition function to do. So you got to make sure your focus transition points are set and then don't zoom the camera. And from that point on, you can transition easily. You can also change the time that it takes to go from one point to the next. If you go into the record setup menu and look at focus transition time, that gives you a choice of having it happen immediately or taking longer. However you want it to play out, you can program that here. There are other settings for the focus transition and more ways you can use this. Those are explained more thoroughly in the guide to the UX90 and UX180 camera that you can download free from Panasonic's site. So be sure to download that and check out the relevant chapters and you'll learn even more about the focus transition feature. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Hope this gets you able to use focus transition on your camera. And stay tuned to the rest of the videos in this series to learn even more tips and tricks about your UX camera. Panasonic.